Hello and welcome to this video about how to record a mobile device scenario for load testing in web load. Um, so if you are trying to record a mobile uh, device scenario, you have a couple of different options. Uh, you can use iPhone, which I have a different video that talks about it, which is slightly easier. This one is going to be about Android. Now, Android has changed uh, over the years. It used to be not very friendly, and then it was pretty easy. And now it's, again, pretty very hard to do it from a real device, just because they've added a few uh, security measures. Uh, so here I'm going to talk about how to do it from an emulator. There are a couple of steps uh, you need to follow, which I'll show you. Um, it's tricky, but it should <laughs> it should work. Okay, so the first thing you need to do in order to use the Android emulator is actually to download it. So you need the Android Studio. It's the it's a open source uh, tool that's used for Android development. You can download it and, and start there. Okay, so now we're in Android Studio. We're gonna start creating our device. We'll create a new virtual device. And here we're gonna use the Pixel 3a XL. You need to make sure that it doesn't have Google Play. That's how it works. And I'm gonna use the Q um, system image. If you don't have it, you need to click download. Click next. You can give it some name, but that's it. Click finish and we'll have the AVD running. All right, so the next part is the a little bit the tricky part. Uh, so there are a bunch of commands we need to run a, in order to get the security the certificate onto the phone so you can record SSL traffic. Uh, so you need to follow those commands. Uh, for those, you'll need the emulator and the ADB commands. They're installed as part of your emulator uh, Android SDK, so it's a part of the installation. Okay, so now we're done with the commands. We're uh, ready to set up everything and start recording in web load. So now we're in web load, we're going to start recording. And we can choose native mobile recording as our recording. That's what we're going to record from. Uh, this will just kind of give us a brief explanation of what we expect to do. And that's what we're going to do. Um, we need to allow incoming requests to the proxinator uh, on port 984. So this is, we need to accept incoming requests on my machine. Uh, now, because this is an emulator, it's running on the same machine. So that's not critical here. That's more for uh, actual devices. Uh, we need to connect to the same wire net network. Again, this is happening automatically because it's an emulator. We need to set the wireless Wi-Fi to us to our port so we're going to do that um, so that's it we already covered uh, uh, adding the certificate so we're good to go 
Yeah, so now in the Android device, we would want to go into the settings. So I'm just using the phone as I would, going into the Wi-Fi setting. And that's the Android Wi-Fi, supposedly it's the emulated Wi-Fi connection of the phone. And we can go and edit, the, make changes here to the network. So we're gonna go to the advanced network. Uh, sorry, we're gonna edit. Now we wanna edit the proxy. So we're gonna set up a manual proxy. Uh, so we want the proxy to go to the same machine. So normally this is a local host or one twenty seven zero zero nine. But in this context, this would mean the Android device. So we want to mean the host of the machine, and that IP address is ten dot zero dot dot two dot two. So ten dot zero dot two dot two. That means. Um, the machine that is hosting uh, the emulator and the port that we want to use is 9884 and click save okay so now so now our traffic should be flowing to our machine and because we're recording we should capture it uh, yeah you have to have the recording running otherwise there is no proxy and things would stop uh, working on your machine Okay, so this is just now we can go to see things and we should be able to see traffic is being captured on our uh, a, in a web load. That's basically it. You, this should capture both uh, your Android um, and Chrome browser, but also native applications should also get captured uh, using the same technique. And uh, that's it. Now you have, once you've done your scenario, you can stop the recording and you can do regular web of things, run correlation, parameterization, everything just as usual and have a, you have a script. Thanks for watching this demo. And if you have any questions, you can email us at supportedradio.com. Thank you. Have a good day.